All right, hey everybody, this is Joseph Fierish. I'm the Precision Ag Specialist here at Agritier. I'm with Channing right now from Creek's Edge Ag down here in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Uh, wanted to have a conversation here and just get a review from Channing on some, not only on his fence tractor, but some of the features that he is using. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about your operation and what you did? Uh, so I do custom uh, corn and soybean planting and custom small grain drilling uh, throughout the year. Um, and that's pretty well it. I use my tractors to push snow for the state of Virginia and that's about all that's about all they see. Um, we don't really use them for personal farming a whole lot because they're just a little too big for what we do, but they work great. And where did, what were you running previously? Uh, previously I had a Fent 828 um, and I've ran John Deere, I've ran the older Masseys, the Agcos, the Challengers, and with doing planting, I was looking for something that had the, the ride, the comfort, and the, I guess, hydraulics and everything that I needed to run my planter. And the, uh, the Fent just seemed like the best option. Um, so what, what model Fent are you currently running? Uh, I currently own a 933 Gen 7 and a um, S4 828. And the Gen 7s have the Fent 1 cavity, correct? Yes, sir. What has been your experience being, you do have an 828 using both user interfaces, the Vario Terminal and the Fent 1? Um, the Vario Terminal is easy to work through once you learn it. Um, but I would definitely say the Fent 1 is a lot easier to just jump in and grasp. Um, it's kind of more you know, newer, you can tell the screens are better to use. Um, they have a better, clear picture image. Um, and just the layout itself is a lot better and easier to work through and use. How, were, how easy were the screens to learn and the functionality of all the of both tractors? I would say being that I'm from a younger generation and know technology better, I probably picked it up a lot faster than most people. Um, which I still needed guidance and help from my salesmen and people here, but I would say it's very simple, very easy, and with a little time and patience, you can pretty well understand and learn and do everything and use the tractor to its maximum capacity. Now, I know I was down here uh, and worked with you with your 933 Gen 7. You actually purchased the TI Headland package from Fent. Mm -hmm. So uh, what drew you to purchase that? Um, being that what I use the tractor for is 95% um, planting and drilling that requires auto steer, um, I thought that it would be nice to have for um, you know being in the field and for the future to come. And I figured, well, being I was purchasing an almost new tractor, I might as well splurge and get all the auto steer options while I was going to be paying on something. So, so and for those of you that don't know what TI Headland is. So TI Headland is a feature that we have from Fent that allows Channing to actually sit in his tractor. He sets up a going end sequence, correct? Mm -hmm. And we program the turn into that headland management or going end sequence. So if he's using the automatic version of TI Headland, you pretty much pull into the field after you get your headlands done and you press auto steer, right? Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have to touch it. Um, and then furthermore into that, um, I think I showed you how to use it a little bit, but since you did get it towards the uh, end of spring there, you really didn't have that much time to play with it, I don't think. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is TI manual as well, so you can go in and program that turn in so you can press your going end button as well. That way you can control when the tractor turns, not off when the tractor thinks it should turn. So, um, from the little bit, that one field that we were in this spring we messed with, I know we had some challenges in that field with just terrain in general and fence rows and things like that. But as of now, with the little bit you've used it, how easy would you say TI Headland is to set up and, and use? Uh, once you get a general idea uh, of setting it up and um, you know, my salesman and everybody from Agriture was very helpful in teaching me all that stuff, being that my old tracker didn't have it. Um, but it's very, very easy and simple. Uh, I think the hardest part is 
just getting it set up to the piece of equipment that you're running and uh, maybe that's just because I've only set up one piece of equipment but it's very simple and very very easy to use. Yeah. And then uh, with having to set up different implements now when you come back this spring if you're using that same drill everything's already going to be saved for you correct? Mm -hmm. Yep it's already pre-saved and it's easy to find and very very simple to get everything set up and ready to hit the field in a hurry. Because as we now as being in the ag world when it's time to run it's time to get done too. Yep. So how has your experience been with working with Agritier in general as a dealership? And when I ask you that, anything from sales, parts, service? Um, to me, everybody at Agritier has always been very friendly and helpful um, and always accommodating. <laughs> Even when times are busy and you need stuff in a hurry, they always somehow make it work and um, are always friendly and good to deal with. And they always seem to help out and get stuff done. Would you recommend working with Agritier to any of your neighbors or any of your friends? I would highly recommend Agritier as our local dealership. Um, you know, I, we deal with John Deere, we deal with Case in New Holland, and by far I think Agritier has the best sales um, team, best parts and service, and they're always easy, and if you have a question, they don't hesitate to help and answer it, and if they don't know it, they'll figure it out for you. Well, perfect. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Glad we were sit down. Like once again, I am Joseph Yarish with Agritier. Hi, I'm Channing Shank with uh, Creek's Edge Ag uh, here at Agritier, uh, talking to Joseph about my uh, vent tractors. I want to thank you for taking the time to sit down and, and watch this video, and hopefully this encourages you to buy a vent tractor. Alrighty, well, hey, Channing, thanks for sitting down and talking to, talking to me today, and uh, have a safe drive home. Thank you.